On the final day, Everybody, uh! most everyone brought their A-game to a party that started before dawn as revelers lined the parade route one last time. It transcends every social strata to get to the root cause of the reason we're here, and that's the party. The crews of Rex and Zulu marched in twin swan songs after weeks of parades and partying. But in this block of St. Charles Avenue near the Garden District, the celebration would end on a somber note. Two teens opened fire on the crowds lining the parade route. The next thing we heard, they were holding a gun out, shooting into the crowd, and we all like ran for cover. Seven were hit in the hail of bullets. No one was killed. Dr. Jim Perry, a surgeon, witnessed the shooting and rushed to help the victims. He kept on asking me, was I shot? Was I shot? I said, yeah, you have a bullet hole. The parade continued as police worked the scene, another sign of the resilience of a city that's grown accustomed to gun violence. We're, the, we're apparently the crime capital. I mean, it's not anything, you know, pretty much every day. There's a shooting every day in New Orleans. Meanwhile, Bourbon Street turned into a sea of alcohol-fueled revelers hoping to squeeze every bit of party out of the last few hours of Mardi Gras. At Mr. Chubby's Cheese Steaks, they've been working nonstop for days to feed the masses. They like the boost in business, but they're happy the end is in sight. I haven't slept since uh, 2 o'clock yesterday. I'm going straight through in order to make sure everything goes smooth and make as much uh, money as we can because the time's been tough for us. Light clockwork at midnight, the final Mardi Gras tradition swept down Bourbon Street, a wall of police and sanitation trucks. It is the moment Mardi Gras officially ends and Lent begins. Their mission, to clear the streets and shut down the party until next year. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, New Orleans.